During Moscow's victory parade in May of 2015, the Russian Defense Ministry debuted Russia's latest secret project, the T-14 Armada. The most advanced tank ever produced was developed from scratch using a unified heavy vehicle platform that bears the same name, and it has been universally heralded as the first groundbreaking innovation in armored vehicles since their debut during World War I. If all goes according to plan, it is expected that the Armada will be delivered by 2023 and 2025 to the Russian army and its allies, effectively starting a new era of tank warfare. The Armada Platform Research and development of the new Russian tank date back to the 1980s, when the Soviet ground forces decided it was time to develop a worthy successor to the aging T-72 and its line of successors, including the T-90. The war in Chechnya showed the Russian forces that the T-90 required several updates, as its 1970s platform had begun to show its wear. And although the Russians could keep updating it, like the American M1 Abrams or German Leopard 2, the Russian engineers wanted a new armored vehicle. The T-14 Armada, originally codenamed Object 148 during its design phase, was given the green light at the Urals Design Bureau of Transport Machine Building, or KBTM, before being handed to the Ural Govonsovod, or UVZ Corporation. It was during the preliminary studies of the Armada program that the T-95 prototype, or Object 195, was born. This prototype tank was a significant departure from the standard Soviet-era tanks and would incorporate many innovative features worthy of a fourth-generation armored vehicle. However, despite approving all the certification tests, the government did not authorize the T-95 for service. Instead, resources were shifted in 2009 to develop a universal or common platform and standardize light and heavy armored vehicles to save production costs and time. This platform would become the base for the future T-14 tank, and was initially named Prospective Family of Heavy Unified Battlefield Platforms, but it was later changed to the Armada Platform, a plural word from the Latin meaning of weapons of war. Other sources claim that the word Armada was also used by some of Russia's earliest artillery pieces, which came from the Turkic family of languages and meant ancestor's strength. Regardless, the Armada platform was developed by Ural Govonsovod and presented for the first time in September of 2013. The Russian Defense Ministry then authorized the T-14 tank project based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform a year later. After months of development, it was secretly announced that the T-14 Armada would debut at the May 9th Victory Parade on Moscow's Red Square. Victory Parade During the Moscow Victory Day Parade of May 2015, Russia displayed its usual military might with thousands of soldiers marching through the streets of the Kremlin. Columns of all sorts of armored vehicles and personnel made their way across the ancient Tsarist citadel to honor the fallen who had perished in their struggle against the Germans during World War II. However, none attracted as much attention as the column of seven colossal tanks that stood almost a meter taller than every Russian tank ever seen before. They were brand new T-14 Armadas, the next generation of Russian battle tanks. The Western military reporters quickly realized that this was a new threat to be aware of. Meanwhile, as the crews saluted, the crowd stared at the new creation, analyzing every detail. The behemoth stood over eight meters long and three meters tall, which certainly caught a lot of attention. However, as impressive and fearsome as they looked, one of the T-14s suddenly stopped moving due to an unexpected failure. It was only after 15 minutes that it was able to fire up its engines and continue its trajectory. The peculiar incident would become a premonition of the difficult struggles that the T-14 Armada would endure to live up to the extremely high expectations. The Birth of a Behemoth After its debut at the Moscow Victory Parade, preliminary trials began. And in 2016, the tank's capabilities were displayed at the International Military Technical Forum Army. British military intelligence described the T-14 as the most revolutionary tank in over half a century of armored warfare history. 
According to TASS, Sergei Suvorov from the Russian Academy of Military Science said, quote, I had a chance to speak to the chief designers of the Abrams and the Leclerc. Even they agree that what makes the Russian tank engineering school so special is that nobody in the West has ever been able to put together a tank as compactly, neatly, and successfully as the Russians have. Suvorov specified that the T-14 tank is already some 30 years ahead of global tank engineering trends, just as the T-34 and the T-64 were in their day. In addition, compared to its immediate predecessor, the T-72, the Armada significantly demonstrates physical superiority, and the T-72B3 is no easy prey for modern tanks. The T-14 Armada is 10.8 meters long and is over 3.3 meters tall. It has a width of 3.9 meters and weighs up to 48 tons. Meanwhile, the T-72B3 measures 9.5 meters long, is 2.2 meters tall, and weighs 46.5 tons. The Armada also incorporates an array of innovative features that make it stand out from other modern-day tanks. One of them is a remote-controlled, unmanned 7.62mm PTKM machine gun with its own ammunition compartment and an auto-loader that can fire even when the crew is incapacitated or focused on other tasks. Also, the main gun is installed in an unmanned compartment isolated from the crew, and the 125mm smoothbore 2A821M cannon can be replaced by a larger caliber. Another feature is that it can be controlled either remotely or digitally, and has a rate of fire of over 12 shots per minute, with an ammunition capacity of up to 40 rounds. In addition, the cannon has an estimated range of 3 kilometers for hollow-charged projectiles, and up to 12 kilometers for guided missiles and high-explosive rounds. Its crew also has access to all critical information on LCD monitors with thermal imaging that further enhances their remote control capabilities. The tank also has targeting, threat detection, and optoelectronic observation devices that provide the crew with 360-degree coverage to bolster combat awareness. And the tracking system allows for simultaneous target, detection, and tracking of up to 25 aerodynamic or 40 dynamic targets, enhancing the crew's combat effectiveness. Lastly, the T-14 also incorporates a phased array radar that can serve for artillery reconnaissance and determine the position of enemy vehicles. Lieutenant Colonel Viktor Lesvinsky, Deputy Commander-in-Chief for Armaments, specified, quote, We want to ensure that the commander can spot the target as quickly as possible. In modern combat, he will have very little time for decision-making. So our goal is to make the vehicle select a target. The commander is going to get information from his own vehicle and from other sources, such as drones, the Strelet's automated monitoring systems, and others, which make his job far easier. Unique Armament The Armada's armament is made up of both active and passive protection, and its silhouette and special coating reduce its thermal and radar signature and visibility. Its wheels are covered by reactive armor screens, while frontal protection is surrounded by over 1400 millimeters of steel armor, and composite materials for the hull and turret enhance mobility and protection. However, its most significant innovation is the armored capsule for the three-man crew. The crew compartment could withstand a direct hit from another tank, and the crew would be left unscratched. This armored capsule is located at the fore of the tank's hull, isolating the men from the fuel and ammunition sections. Furthermore, the crew could keep fighting even in case of a chemical or nuclear attack, thanks to the additional protection in the isolated capsule. Lesvinsky said that the Army has been working exhaustively on new ways to save the crewmen from all sorts of dangers that can halt combat efficiency, adding that, quote, The Armada's front has a special covering that is slip-resistant during rainy weather, while simultaneously acting as camouflage and thermal insulation. Despite the tank's impressive offensive and defensive arsenal, it is no slow beast by any means. The 12-cylinder X-shaped engine can render up to 1,500 horsepower, and the tank can reach speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour with an estimated range of 500 kilometers. However, so much power and innovation come with their own array of problems, and the cost and production of the tanks have become a problem for delivering it to the Russian armed forces. The expected 2020 deadline of the first 2300 models had to be pushed back to 2025, and Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Industry and Trade Minister Denis Mantorov told the media that the Armada will enter serial production in early 2022. 
only time will tell if the most advanced tank ever produced will be delivered in time to bolster the combat effectiveness of the armored divisions of the Russian army. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Duck Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the unique features of the T-14 Armada. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.